I've been starting in being interested in science and most precisely, in fact, in astronomy when I was nine years old. Uh, in fact, I'm Algerian, so I used to go to, uh, to my uh, home village in the mountain, I'm Berber, and looking at the sky, and the sky there is fantastic, fabulous. And then I discovered that uh, by talking with my family, with people, that uh, we were able to understand the, the sky. And in fact, it happened uh, when, I, when, I, when I was at school, a teacher of mine started explaining how the, um, how the moon was uh, created out of the interaction of asteroids and Earth, etc. Et and then I realized that, uh, that the human being, human spirit, the human brain, was able to conceptualize something as huge as space and explain it in a model. And I wanted to explain the universe, basically. So my research is about understanding how the uh, large-scale structures, how the universe basically formed and evolved. Uh, and in fact, it's a very uh, striking uh, observation to see that the universe is made of a fantastic cosmic web, made of nodes, which are the galaxy clusters, filaments, and bridges of matter. And all this evolved from a quasi-homogeneous distribution of matter in the very, very early uh, uh, times, or very, very early in the universe, like uh, 13 or something uh, giga years ago. And the most striking thing about this cosmic web is that it's filled with uh, an observed matter, ordinary matter, which only only represents something like 5% of the total amount of matter in the universe. And among those 5% of ordinary matter that uh, form galaxies, stars, gas, etc., half of it is invisible, half of it is hidden within this cosmic web. And it's hidden, and my research, thanks to the ERC, is to try to seek, to seek it, to search for it, and to find it. I would say to any female colleague and to any young researcher to go for the ERC. I think that nobody has to uh, be uh, prevented from uh, trying to at least uh, realize his or her own ambitions.